Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10, The Scream. The Scream is one of the most notorious paintings in the world, created by Edvard Munch in 1893. A lot of people around the world recognize the figure in blue on the boardwalk, the weird colors, and the man holding his face while he screams. It's practically psychedelic, and it appears to have a secret message. In 1904, a Danish art critic first noticed there was a faintly scrawled message in the top left corner of the painting. The message reads, could only have been painted by a madman. While art experts discovered the message just 10 years after the painting's debut, it stumped them for 117 years. Nobody could say who wrote it for sure until now. The problem was that when the painting first came out, it wasn't a hit. When Munch showed the painting in Norway for the first time in 1893, an art critic by the name of Henrik Grosch said that nobody should ever consider Munch a serious painter. A medical student even questioned his mental state, saying his newest painting proved that he was crazy. The criticism hurt Munch badly, especially since he always feared that he might go crazy. And in 1908, it happened. Doctors hospitalized Munch after he had a nervous breakdown. Both his father and grandfather had suffered similar serious issues, and psychiatrists had even sent his sister to a mental hospital. Art historians didn't know who had written this secret message. Was it a vandal or Munch? But in 2021, scientific analysis of the painting using a special microscope finally proved once and for all that the artist wrote the hidden message himself. This episode is brought to you by Monk Pack. Monk Pack offers low sugar, keto friendly bars, which are plant based, gluten free, and non GMO. They're the perfect snack for anyone who's trying to eat better or cut back on sugar and carbs without sacrificing taste. Monk Pack Keto Granola Bars and Nut and Seed Bars contain one gram of sugar or less, two to three grams of net carbs, and each bar contains 150 calories or less. I get really hungry throughout the day and love to snack, but I know I've been eating way too much sugar. There's sugar everywhere! But with Monk Pack, I can now satisfy my cravings without having to feel bad about it afterwards. Their Caramel Sea Salt Keto Nut and Seed Bar is my absolute favorite, and it feels like I'm eating a candy bar without eating a whole cup of sugar with it. Delivered right to your door, Monk Pack is perfect as a quick breakfast, a healthy snack, or when you have that craving for something sweet after dinner. Get 20% off your first purchase of any Monk Pack product by visiting monkpack.com and entering our code Origins Explained at checkout, or just simply click the link in the description box down below to get 20% off. Monk Pack is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll exchange the product or refund your money, whichever you prefer. Number 9. Van Gogh's Patch of Grass. Van Gogh's Patch of Grass looks like an ordinary painting of some grass. He finished it in Paris in 1887, and it's been one of his more famous paintings throughout the last century. But what's really interesting about Patch of Grass is that like many of Van Gogh's paintings, he painted it over something else. Researchers noticed the slight outline of a head underneath the green grass, but it wasn't until modern technology came along that the researchers at the Kroller Mueller Museum in the Netherlands could understand the mystery. Scientists were able to use x-ray techniques to look underneath the green, where they discovered the face of a peasant woman in the center of the work. This was only visible after they used this new technology. It took two days for the scientists to scan the picture completely. They had to use a very thin beam of energized x-rays to speed up subatomic particles. These atoms in the underlayer of the painting then released fluorescent x-rays, which scientists could capture to get a full view of the picture. It's too bad we don't know who the secret woman in the painting is. Van Gogh painted her portrait, but we don't know her name. She may have been one of the peasants in the Dutch village of Noonan, where Van Gogh stayed between 1884 and 1885. Number 8. Lady with an Ermine French scientists recently used a special new light technique to reveal a shocking secret from one of Leonardo da Vinci's most famous paintings. It's not the Mona Lisa, but the lady with an ermine. He painted her in 1489 or 1490, and her name was Cecilia Gallerani. She was a young woman from Italy who was the mistress of the Duke of Milan. She's holding an ermine in her arms, which is a kind of short-tailed weasel. Nobody had ever seriously studied the painting. 
Most experts agreed that she had always been holding the little animal. Until researcher Pascal Cotte, after examining the work using reflective light techniques, learned that da Vinci had made some changes to the painting. The first rendition of the painting didn't have an ermine at all, and in the second version, he had changed the lady's dress. These secrets aren't revolutionary, they don't exactly reveal the location of a lost treasure or anything, but it's interesting to see that one of da Vinci's most famous works was touched up by the artist repeatedly, who just couldn't settle on what the woman wanted to wear or what she should hold in her hands. The painting is now at the National Museum in Krakow. Number 7. The Prophet Zachariah Born in 1443, Pope Julius II was called the Warrior Pope. He was one of the most important popes in the church's history. This famous pope won military victories across Europe, and he bolstered the power of the Papal States and commissioned some of the most spectacular paintings of the Renaissance. One of these commissioned works was put up on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. Michelangelo was busy working on the Prophet Zechariah when Pope Julius II bothered the artist and asked him when he would complete the project. It annoyed him that Michelangelo was taking so long, and so Michelangelo created his own kind of revenge for being pestered. He left a secret message on the ceiling that has lasted for over 500 years. The painting shows Julius as the Prophet Zechariah. He's reading a book with two young children or angels peering over his shoulder. This represents the moment the prophet predicted Christ's founding of the Catholic Church. For Renaissance Christians, Zechariah was one of the most important figures. This is why it was so important that the artist featured Julius as him in the portrait. But what nobody noticed is that one child looking over the prophet's shoulder is flipping him the bird. Or rather, the medieval bird. Michelangelo painted one of the child's hands so that his thumb is stuck between his forefinger and his middle finger. It may not look like anything to us, except a game of got your nose, but people back then knew the gesture as the fig. It's like giving someone the middle finger in modern times. Number 6. The Controversy of Madame X Madame X was painted by John Singer Sargent and debuted at the Paris Salon in 1884. It was one of the most controversial paintings in history. The outrage behind the painting, which critics deemed scandalous and immoral, was enough to force Sargent to repaint his masterpiece. The scandal forever tarnished his reputation, causing him to be chased out of the country. Today, the painting is one of the most interesting modern portraits from the 19th century, and according to those who knew Sargent, he worked obsessively to capture the exotic and somewhat strange look of his subject, Madame Gatreau. She was an American from New Orleans who had gotten married to a wealthy banker in Paris, but for whatever reason, she captured Sargent's eye. He described her as having the most beautiful skin he had ever seen, with tinted auburn hair and spectacular lines. When he revealed the painting, it outraged the critics. He had drawn her in a dress with a low neck, revealing a lot more than was proper back then. She also had one of her dress straps hanging down past her shoulder. There was so much skin showing the Parisians just about had heart attacks when they saw it. Madame Gatreau was also laughed at. The Parisians called her a decomposed corpse, a fright, and all kinds of other nasty things. The painting disgraced both the artist and the young woman. In 1995, X Radiography revealed the changes the critics forced Sargent to make after completing the portrait. Not only did he fix her dress strap, but he made alterations to the position of her ear and her arm. Number 5. The Mona Lisa Leonardo da Vinci began painting the Mona Lisa between 1503 and 1506, but it may have taken him until 1517 to complete it. Art historians have analyzed the world's most famous painting more than any other painting in the world. Historians recently hit it with a newly invented 240 megapixel multispectral imaging camera invented by French engineer Pascal Cotte. This revealed even more shocking details than anybody had ever known. The infrared images captured show a whole bunch of interesting details. We can see that da Vinci first painted a landscape and then used transparency techniques to paint Mona Lisa's veil over it. He never finished her left finger. There is a blotchy mark on the corner of her eye from a varnish accident, and we can also see where da Vinci changed his mind and rearranged the positions of her fingers. 
These new scans have shown just how battered and beaten Mona Lisa was before da Vinci finally stopped working on her. We think of these gorgeous paintings as if the artist just sat down and finished them. But this masterpiece was tinkered with by da Vinci for anywhere between 3 and 15 years. And the toll that took on the painting is now very clear. Number 4. Dracula's UFO In a medieval painting currently on display in the monastery church in Sigisuara, Transylvania, you can see an unidentified flying object. There is no mistaking the silver flying saucer for anything but an alien craft. In the fresco, we can see it hovering above a building, what may be a church, with beams of light shining from it. The artist completed the painting before 1534, though nobody knows who painted it or when they finished it. It's an unknown cosmic mystery. The UFO painting is in Dracula's homeland, which makes things even weirder. Vlad Tepes, the inspiration for the legend of Dracula, was born in Sigisoara, the same place where this mysterious painting comes from. It's hard to believe a UFO has anything to do with Dracula, but the coincidence is strange. It's also weird that there is a piece of medieval artwork showing a flying saucer with no known creator, and not a single historian wants to talk about it. Mainstream researchers are completely ignoring it. What do you think it could be? Let me know in the comments below. Number 3. Young Woman Powdering Herself Young Woman Powdering Herself is an oil painting made between 1889 and 1890 by the French artist Georges Seurat. The painting shows the artist's mistress, Madeleine Nablach, sitting in a chair and powdering herself in front of a mirror. He had kept his relationship with the model secret until he exhibited the painting. At that point, it was obvious the artist and the subject were having an affair. But if the French critics could have seen what researchers discovered in 2014, they would have probably thrown the whole painting in the trash. Advanced image technology revealed a shocking change that Seurat had made to the painting at the last minute. He had originally painted himself looking in at the woman through a top window in the left corner. It's one of the creepiest things he could have possibly done at the time. Almost like peeking in a basement window, we can see the painter leering in at his mistress as she gets ready. Remember, this was the 19th century, and it was about the same as spying on women in the bathroom. Super creepy. Luckily for the painter, he was smart enough to cover up his little window fiasco and replace it with a hanging picture on the wall of a pretty vase of flowers. Funny enough, the covered over image of the spying artist was the only self-portrait he ever made. Number 2. Picasso's Blue Period Secrets Recent new x-ray images taken of some of Picasso's most important blue period paintings have revealed a lot of interesting secrets. Researchers discovered in just one canvas alone, the La Soupe from 1903 had 13 layers. What they've learned is that Picasso worked on the paintings from his blue period with serious dedication. Art experts have always wondered how Picasso created such phenomenal pieces of artwork. And now, after a three-year technical study, they know it all has to do with layers. Scans have shown that he added and subtracted elements from his blue paintings at all kinds of different points. Looking back at La Soupe, it has 13 layers of paint. One of these layers had an extra figure that was later erased, standing between the child and the woman with the soup. There was also a ceramic jar in there once. Just about every Picasso painting, especially those from the Blue Period, had these kinds of layers. He used different layers to add more depth, add and remove objects, and sometimes out of necessity when he didn't have any money to buy new canvases. Number 1. The Secret Codes of the Last Supper There are all kinds of secret codes buried in the Last Supper. The famous painting by Leonardo da Vinci showing Jesus and his twelve disciples sitting down for one last meal. This painting started in 1495 and has been the subject of many conspiracy theories throughout the centuries. But separating real hidden messages from nonsense has been difficult. For example, who is even in the painting? 500 years after da Vinci painted it, the experts still can't agree on who all the characters are sitting at the table. Some say da Vinci painted the beloved Apostle John to be Mary Magdalene in disguise. And if you take a close enough look at the painting, John looks an awful lot like Mary. There are even similarities between the supposed John and Mona Lisa, which was finished several years before the Last Supper. There are also rumors that at the time he revealed the painting, Everyone knew John was really Mary, 
But the Christian leaders were furious and forced the name change, and it ended up sticking. The church authorities covered it up because they didn't like the fact a woman was sitting on Jesus' right hand side. Thanks for watching! Which of these master artists is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below, and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time! Bye!